आरुष फिर आर्या फर्स्ट सब्जेक्ट इज आर कंप्यूटर एंड देर आर टेन टॉपिक्स इन द कंप्यूटर फर्स्ट टॉपिक हेयर कम्स इनपुट्स एंड आउटपुट डिवाइसेस एंड द फर्स्ट सब टॉपिक इज कंप्यूटर सिस्टम A computer is a machine that works on electricity. Means the plug and the wire. It starts the computer. It can be compared to a magic box that can do a variety of jobs. I have also a magic box. There are some few secret sentences. Abra kuta abra gili gili chu. Ho! Here is my magic box. Let's see what is in it. It is all empty because I have nothing said to be in it. Computers are not contained to offices only. They can be seen everywhere around us, such such as at shops, schools, hospitals, banks, airports, railway stations, audio studio, video studio, etc. They work very fast and give hundred percent accurate. results i want to have a coffee now let's discuss fact find we know dhang is popularly known as the father of pentium for his contribution in the development of pentium processor from intel now we will give you a definition of computer A computer is an electric device that accepts data and instructions given by the user, processes them accordingly, and give gives meaningful results. A computer system performs three basic functions: input, first comes our input, then after input, here comes processing, then after processing comes output. Means these three are basics. input processing and output the computer system works with the help of hardware and software let's discuss now hardware and software the physical parts of a computer that we can touch and see are called hardware for example mouse keyboard speaker etc software is a set of instructions that helps the hardware to work in a desired manner Hardware and software are independent. Without a software, a computer cannot work. Similarly, if hardware is not there, there is no use of software. This I can tell you with the help of an example. Now here comes our example. To listen music, we require a music system. Okay. So the music system, CDs and DVDs are hardware because we can touch them and we can see them. can you touch the songs no you cannot touch the songs because it that is software you need both to enjoy the music now from my magic box i will check out some hardware so there is pen drives some pen drives oh here comes them this is different pen drive that can be fold like this This is different pen drive, and these both pen drives are called hardware. We can touch them and we can see them. You can also see them. You can also touch them. Okay. So the main components which carry out the basic operations of a computer are the keyboard, mouse, CPU, and the monitor. Fact five. Sir Christopher Latham Scholes is regarded as the inventor of QWERTY keyboard layout. Besides these complements, some additional parts can also be attached to a computer. These additional parts are known as peripherals of a computer. Example: printer, scanner, modem, etc. Now here comes a second sub topic that is input devices. The devices through which we enter data and instructions are called input devices as there are very common input devices. The most commonly used input device is keyboard. The other input devices are mouse, trackball and light bulb which don't require typing. we can 
point them. These devices are called point devices. We can select any item by pointing and clicking on it. Now here comes common input devices. And first is keyboard. Keyboard is used to type and write instructions to the computer by typing. A standard keyboard has 104 keys which is divided into 4 groups. So number 1 is our typing keys and number 2 is our function keys. Number 3 is our navigation keys and number 4 is our control keys. So the function keys are F1 to F12. Typing keys are alphabet keys and numeric keys arrow keys and home page up page down etc these all are navigation keys control alt windows logo key and escape are all the control keys so our second common input device is our mouse the mouse is a pointing handheld device with two or three buttons on its top. It is used to control the movement of the pointer. It is used to point and select objects and open files folders. And a mouse is also used to draw some pictures. Now here comes a second input device and that is microphone. Before that I'll tell you that mouse Mouses are of two types. One is wire mouse and one is wireless. The wireless mouse operates from Bluetooth. Now let's come to microphone. Microphone is an input device which is used to record voice, sounds, music into the computer system. Sound cards enable the computer to record sound input from a microphone to the computer apart from recording sound in the computer a microphone is used in many applications such as telephones tape recorders karaoke systems hearing aids etc now here comes some more input devices first comes touchpad we use touchpad instead of a mouse on the laptop to, to move the point of the laptop. Touchpad is used instead of a mouse on the laptop computers. It is a touch sensitive pad. You can move the pointer on the screen by, by moving your finger on the touchpad. A touch screen is a computer screen sensitive to the touch. We can select objects directly by touching them with the fingers without using any pointing device. Example ATM machines, cell phones etc. Let's come to the light pen. A light pen is a pen like pointing device. It is used to select the objects on the display screen. It is quite similar to a mouse except that it allows you to point the objects displayed on the screen or draw directly into it. Light pen is only used with the CRT monitors. It is used by architects, engineers and fashion designers. This is a fine fact. Dr. Angel Bart is the inventor of the computer mouse digital camera it is used to take photographs or record videos photos and videos taken by the digital camera is stored into a chip inside the camera then the digital camera is plugged into a computer and the photos and the videos are transferred to the computer for storing printing editing etc a web camera is a device connected to the computer for capturing still images and live videos. This is a web camera. You can see this and this is the wire. With the help of this wire, we connect this web camera to the computer. This is digital Canon 5D Mark II camera. It is primary 
used to share pictures and have live chats with our friends and relatives using internet trackball it is similar to the mouse and can be used in its place it has a ball on its top to move the pointer on the screen roll the ball with your finger it is a device that reads the text and the pictures printed on a paper and translates the information in the form that computer understands the most commonly used scanner is flat bed scanner that has a flat tray with a glass tray and a covering lid there are three types of scanner number 1 sheet bed scanner number 2 flat bed scanner number 3 handheld scanner barcode scanner it is used to scan printed barcodes present on the various products it can be seen in shops malls etc now here comes output devices output devices are used to display the data that we input in the computer and the results which we get after processing monitor the most common output device is monitor it looks like a television the output which we get from the monitor is called soft copy there are two types of monitor number 1 crt monitors number 2 lcd monitors both crt and lcd monitors produce sharp images but the lcd monitors have the advantage of being much thinner lighter and consume less electricity crt monitors however are generally less expensive but consume more electricity speakers speakers are output devices used to listen the music and sound effects from the computer they may be built into the another system unit or connected with the cables of cpu printer it is an important part of a computer system it prints out onto a paper the printed copy is called a hard copy the most commonly used printers are number 1 dot matrix printers number 2 inkjet printers and number 3 laser printers the dot matrix printers work like a typewriter and creates impression by striking on the paper it is very noisy and least expensive dot matrix printers are not so common nowadays the inkjet printers sprays dots of ink on the paper to form text and graphics it is ideal for routine business work and personal documents it can print in black as well as produce in colorful output it produces high quality prints when used in special paper the laser printer uses laser beams and dry ink to print it is mostly used in publishing houses it is very fast and gives high quality output it works like a photocopier processing device central processing unit cpu in our body the brain is important role to play the activities we perform are the results of the signals that we receive from our brain likewise cpu is the brain of the computer where it processes and stores the information on the computer perform calculations and send the results to the output output devices it performs all the jobs that we want it to do it is also known as system unit the cpu has mainly three parts memory unit control unit alu arithmetic and logical unit number 1 memory unit it stores information temporarily or permanently according to our need alu arithmetic and logical unit this unit performs all arithmetic calculations and logical operations cu control unit the control unit works like a traffic policeman and manages all the operations of the computer the laser printer was invented at xerox in 1969 by gary stark weather let's recap computer is an electric device that accepts data and instructions given by the user and gives the desired output the physical parts of a computer that we can see and touch is called hardware the software is a set of instructions that help the hardware to work in a desired manner devices through which we enter data and instructions to the computer are called input devices devices that display input and result 
after processing our called output devices. The CPU has three parts. Number one, CU, control unit. Number two, AN, arithmetic and logical unit. Number three, MU, memory unit. Now, I will ask you some questions. The physical parts of a computer are called? Yes! The hardware, correct answer. The dash printers gives very high quality output. Which are these printers? Yes, correct answer. The laser printers. A dash copies the text and pictures directly on the computer. What is that? Yes, the correct answer, scanner. A dash is used to share pictures and have live chats with our friends and relatives. What is that? Yes, correct answer, web camera. Dash devices display when we get results after processing. Which devices are that? Yes, correct answer, output devices. Nima handheld pointing device. Yes. A mouse is a handheld pointing device. Nema device that are only used with CRT monitors. Yes, correct answer. Light pen. Nema device that transfers photographs onto a computer. Yes, digital camera is the correct answer. Which part of the CPU stores information? Yes. MU, the memory unit. Dash is a device used for routine business work. Yes, a inkjet printer. Which device is used to listen music and sound effects? Yeah, this is the most common output device, the speaker. Which output device allows you to hear sound, microphone, speakers or the monitor? Yes, you are thinking the correct answer. Correct answer is speakers. Which device is used instead of a mouse to move the pointer on the laptop, touch screen, trackball, or touchpad? Yes, it's not the touch screen, not the trackball, it's touchpad. Which device gives output on a paper? printer, speaker or the monitor? Yes, you are thinking correct. It's the printer. Which device allows you to select directly by touching with fingers? Trackball, touchpad or touch screen? Oh, yes, it's the touch screen. Now answer the following questions. What are input devices? Name any two. The devices which we enter data and instructions are called input devices. Keyboard and mouse are the two examples of input devices. What is printer? Name the types of printer. It is an important part of a computer system. It prints the output onto the paper. There are three types of printer. Number one, the dot matrix printer. Number two, inkjet printer and number three laser printer now tell what is the use of light pen the light pen is used to select the objects displayed on the screen what is the use of cpu name its parts cpu is used to process and store the information and it is used to do all the arithmetic calculations there are three parts of cpu number one mu memory unit Number 2, ALU, arithmetic and logical unit. Number 3, CU, control unit. Differentiate between hard copy and soft copy. A printed copy is called the hard copy, whereas the output we get on the monitor is called soft copy.